Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, I'll show you how you can show your content in the Google questions query like people also ask option. Let me introduce one by one. Before I'm going to the main topic, I want to show you one tool called Boostify. Here is the Boostify website. And if you enter this website and you can see here is the website full information. You can start by using your email to get it started for one year only okay let me show you the full website brief in the back end section how this tool is helping businesses to rank their website you can see i already integrated my website here and you can see they are providing the data of my website how many clicks how many visitors how many impression i am getting from my website and here is the top ranking pages they are showing to me here is the pages here is the impression clicks ai recommendation for me and also the recent blog post that are working well and what action should I need to figure and you can see optimize pages and they are the view all pages option you can see all of the information they will show you here and if you go to the rank analyzer option you can see all of the keywords all of the keyword analytics page analytics they will show you one by one if you click on this one by one and you can search what is your current position now and the before position was and also the progress how much progress you have got and here is the blog studio you can see how many blogs they are creating for you they will create the blog for you without any kind of hesitation and also you can create blog by your own as well if you want here is the internal links how many internal links are working for your website as well and if you want to exclude something then you can exclude and if you go to the action option you can remove or anything okay so i am highly recommending you to use this tool so that you can rank your website in google in higher option if i show you when i will search only boostify you can see they are showing the full data for me can you see that full data for me so you can use this tool for your website as well okay so now let's go back to the option you can see the what is the paa option so the PA option is people also ask. Let me show you one by one. First of all, we need to know what is PAA. That's when people also ask. So people also ask when you will search in something in Google like SEO for beginners. You can see the uh, Google showing some of the information. And if you scroll down, you can see that here is the people also ask option. So the some similar question from your website suggestion, you can see how can I start SEO as beginners? You can see they are showing some of the information. So where the information comes from? You can see if I click on the more items, they will redirect me Google website, developers.google.com. So Google are taking some of the information from their website and also can I learn SEO on my own? And this information comes from where? You can see Reddit. And if you see, what are the four pillars of SEO? You can see this information comes from this website, OEBFX. So if you want to show your own content in Google like this, then you need to follow the next processes. Let me explain one by one. And I hope you understand what is PAA. Okay. Now you can see here is the tools to extract people also ask question. So you can use some tools like alsoask.com. If you go to the alsoask.com, you can see here is the website you can add your question here so that people can interact with you you can see here is the keyword option suppose uh, here is the type it is like live search you can see they are showing some of the information and they are showing the uh, details just wait here and then you can see you from the united kingdom london english and the standard okay here is the timeline the keywords and the questions everything they are showing to me so you can add your information like this so that your question can be searched or can be shown to the Google okay now here you can see the answer the public SEO minion this is Chrome extension you can use these tools to add your questions you will publish your questions from here from these tools and after that by uh, sign up this and then after that you can add your question from here okay now the fourth method is how to build content around PAA you can see method number one add FAQs every time you need to add your faqs to your website okay if i go to the boostify website you can see 
here is the bustify just a moment here is the bustify and if i go to the information you can see there is the faq option and also business option i need to identify where is the faq option right here is the faq for business can you see that so if you add some of the faqs to the your site then this information can be shown to the website or can be shown to the google search like this okay people also ask you can see people also ask like this so you need to add your faq section okay so i hope you understand now the method number two is create a full blog post for one paa personal question you can see take one valuable paa question and after that build minimum 100 plus word blog post if i show you you can see seo for beginners the first question was how can i start as a beginner you can see they are showing the full data of this page and full data for this information so where the data from uh, comes from the google website so google created a full blog post and then this blog is working in the google people also ask option okay so you can use a blog post for your website and you can create a blog post in 100 words but focus only one question you can see this question is only for how can i start seo as a beginner so this is a question but the answer is very big so you can describe your full answer in a section okay now you can see method number three create pa cluster page you can combine multiple pa question under one umbrella topic and after that you can see this improves topical authority you can see i already shown to you here is the umbrella topic for the question making so you can use this tool also ask tool and after that you can add your umbrella question here and you can show to your google okay so you can see i'll some of the information are already shared here when i search with type 2 diabetes or only the diabetes so some of the information are showing here and you can see the one question is how to treat diabetes and under this umbrella question there are already lots of question so if i click on the search option here then you can see they will show you this answer so you can use this tool to make umbrella question for your website okay now you can see bonus tip is use schema markup schema markup when i search it only boostify you can see they are showing the full detailed data for my website this is called schema markup you can do the schema markup by use google jsd and tool okay you can do the same thing or you can use some of the informational website like boostify you can use boostify and then like you will just integrate your website here and then boostify will do the schema markup as well okay now here is the benefits of using paa in seo you can see if you use paa people also ask this option in your website you can target your voice search and long tail queries suppose when i search with just only seo for beginners you can see in the people also ask question you can see there are some information they are showing and this question answer is very bigger and if i click on the more items they are showing the detail view can you see that they are showing the detail view so if you want then you can long tail uh, you can add your long tail queries and also the voice search for your website suppose someone is searching with their voice then your content can be shown to the google okay help rank in position zero or feature snippet feature snippet you can see if i search in the boostify you can see here are the some extensional option they are showing and also they are showing your social media and others and also the extension and everything so they will show your full data for your feature snippet okay now you can see build topical depth if you search on google topical authority checker if you search it on google you can see here is the da website checker just add your domain here like let me go back to my website and then i'll check just a moment here is the boostify i'll click on the boostify and then i'll check the domain authority is the main source of topical authority just click on the check authority you can see they are showing your domain authority domain authority most page authorities score everything quality backlinks total backlinks quality backlinks score and everything is showing so you can check your topical authority and it will increase your topical authority for your website okay and also matches user search intent perfectly you can see i search in google 
with SEO for beginners and you can see they are showing all of the data for the SEO and also the people ask question is also SEO related there is nothing here without SEO okay and the conclusion and the CTA is recap PA and also SEO will be win I'm recommending you to use this information for your people also ask option enabled okay and also you can see here is the SEO related data and also everything so my recommendation is that use this tool like and also use this information for your topical authority for your people also ask option enabling and also everything okay so I hope you understand everything and if you feel this video is very important for you please subscribe and here is the boostify I'm recommending you to integrate your website here and rank your website faster thank you